So as we know, Fernando Alonso will be driving for Aston Martin next season after two years with Alpine. He signed a multi-year deal that will keep him at the team until at least the end of 2024, and he's already starting to get familiar with the team which has hopes of getting to the front of the grid in the next few years. But while the team have revealed their plans for 2023, Alonso seems to have made a demand that hasn't gone down well. But before we begin, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like, and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content. And you can follow me on Twitter at James underscore Formula 1, and there'll be a link in the description. So Aston Martin ended Formula 1 in 2021, but in two years the team haven't really made any progress. I mean in 2021 the team finished the constructors standings in 7th with a few good finishes, such as Vettel's podium in Baku. And it was pretty much the same in 2022, with the team finishing 7th again in the standings, and actually finishing the season with less points than what they did in 2021. Now obviously it'd be wrong to expect Aston Martin to be at the front in two years of competing. Unless your team is Braun GP, it's not going to happen straight away, and Aston Martin have made a plan to win the championship within five years. But the main problem Aston Martin had in 2022 was that they had a really poor start to the season, and on top of that qualifying just wasn't their strong suit with the team being knocked out in Q1 multiple times. But the team did steadily improve over the course of the year, and it seems Aston Martin are happy with the direction they're going in, with technical director Dan Fallows confirming the team will be taking an aggressive approach to development next season. He was quoted by Planet F1 as saying, We clearly started the year with a car that wasn't where we wanted it to be, and we've shown development, particularly in the second half of the season. We've really demonstrated that this kind of design principles that we put in place, and some of the philosophies that we're adopting, are paying off. So what we're trying to do for next year is to take a very aggressive development strategy, but build on those lessons we've learned from this year. Now this will please Alonso, who's previously said that he's ready to deliver something special from his side, and expects Aston Martin to do the same. And he did speak very highly of the Aston Martin project, and expects the good times to roll at his new team. He said, With Aston Martin, their project is amazing in terms of what they're doing in recruiting people, facilities, investment, so I think good times are coming. Now Alonso is an incredibly quick driver, but he's also not afraid to speak what he thinks, and one thing that Alonso was very vocal about with Alpine in 2022 was reliability, given he had issues at so many races. Now reliability is key in Formula 1 as so many parts make up the power unit, and each team has a certain amount of component allowances, and if they go over that allowance with a certain driver, then they'll pick up a penalty. Now when it comes to the internal combustion engine, each driver is permitted 3 for the season, but according to the objective, Alonso has requested to have 4 engines from the beginning of the year. While going over 3 units would mean a penalty, apparently Alonso feels it would be difficult to run the entire season with only 3 engines, and wants to have at least 4 from the beginning, and take a penalty when it strategically suits him. Now Aston Martin used Mercedes engines, and I'd say that overall the Mercedes power unit was quite reliable in 2022, and apparently Alonso's request has been met with negativity, especially from Mercedes, with the objective reporting they have their full production agenda, and this upsets their plans. This is because Mercedes apparently don't want to start taking penalties, either with themselves or customer teams, until well into the calendar, and it's reported the idea is bad for them. And it's also reported that Aston Martin would have to pay the cost of one of these engines earlier than planned, and the initial surcharge could upset the distribution of the budget and its limitations. But what do you think of this? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care. Bye.